think you're ready to be president. I do. I mean, but but I think that's true for multiple other people that would want to run. I mean, I'll be 43 this month, but uh, but the other thing that perhaps people don't realize, I've served now in public office for the better part of 14 years. Young and restless, not young and clueless. That pretty much sums up a soon-to-be 43-year-old Marco Rubio's case for a White House run. Sure, he is young, very young, even younger than Barack Obama was when he was campaigning for the presidency. Rubio says here is the difference, though, that this Republican senator says he has actually a lot more experience than that Democratic senator ever did. And leadership consultant Grant Cardone says it is what you know and what you've done in your relatively few years, not how old or how many years you've acquired. Grant, good to have you back. I mean, when you look at uh, Rubio's uh, background, uh, you could argue, you know, better part of a dozen years he's held elective office. The same uh, was true, if not a little more. It was 14 years that JFK also uh, our, our youngest elected president had um, at the time. So, so it's what you did in that time. But does it make a big difference one way or the other? Yeah, it doesn't make a bit, a bit of difference to me. Uh, probably 90% of my, the people that work for me are millennials under 32 years old. Look, I don't care when it comes to a politician or employee. I just want to know, what are you going to do? Can you make change? Do you have hustle? Do you have good ideas? I mean, I would, hold, I would hold the 14 years against any politician before I would hold his age against him. And I think the, the American public wants change. They want, they want real ideas, not, and they don't care whether it's young or old. That's interesting because you could make the argument that this president was, um, you know, not only a young guy, but he didn't have direct Washington experience or a lot of Washington experience when he decided to run for president. He had been elected senator in 2004, and then, you know, a year or two later, he was running for the White House. I'm just, I guess what I'm, I'm, I'm wondering is, is, should some experience be required here or, or some diverse Washington or leadership experience? Well, I, personally, I think absolutely, but I think we've broken that glass ceiling now with the election of Obama. Here's a guy with no experience, zero, whether you liked him or didn't, he didn't have any experience other than a community organizer. So now it's who can sell themselves to the American public, who is relevant for the problems we have now, and who can basically close that deal. And you see different people using different avenues, the social mediums, and right. it would be a little surprising, I think, to most people to find out who's using them and who's not. Uh, you know, Rubio actually is using them seven and eight times more than Hillary Clinton is, but yeah. a lot less than a, a more conservative guy like Boehner is. So you've got to look at who's doing what right now and is it relevant. You know, also the relevant type of experience, is it in an executive capacity? Many Republican strategists tell me that maybe what we need is a governor or someone who has had that sort of statehouse type experience leading things to, to, to move into that job. Uh, it's always in the eye of the beholder. I'm just wondering um, whether that will ultimately make a, a difference. Many argue that FDR had that going in uh, to the White House as a former New York governor. Ronald Reagan had that as a former California governor. Uh, you could differ with each, but they were fairly effective for their respective views, you know? Yeah, and look, you were a manager at 17 years old, right, Neil? It was Arthur uh, Treacher, though. It was food. Ruled. It was a big difference, you know? I don't I, think I that don't prepared me for the White difference. House, although I like to argue it did. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I think I think those are leadership positions, though. And and I think in many cases, politicians lead less and talk a lot, sell a lot, <laughs> promise a lot and don't You're really right. lead much. Alexander the Great uh, ran, uh, you know, empires at the age of 20. Jesus Christ was dead at 33. Zuckerberger, uh, he's a billionaire at 30. I'm at 29. I was starting my first business. So uh, to me, age doesn't matter. It's like, what are you bringing to the table right here, right now? Yeah. I hear you. And, and none of them were able to say, do you want fries with that, which is an edge that I That's had. Right. Uh, That's Grant, right. Grant, thank you very, very much. Well, what is the key to a nice set?